Well, good Tuesday morning. I'm Ashley Cunha with your Conjo Valley This Morning Update. Thanksgiving 2018 will be setting a record for travelers across the nation. Here in the state of Texas, a majority of travelers will be driving to their destinations. State troopers are urging drivers to be responsible on the roadways and Texas highways. You may spot more state troopers on patrol as well as additional sheriff's deputies on the highways. They'll be watching for speeders, intoxicated drivers, and motorists endangering others. Last year, alone, state troopers issued more than 70,000 traffic citations and warnings during the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. And the San Angelo-based nonprofit Sinresis Trails announced on Monday that they will be serving as the National Pilot Therapeutic Riding Program for military veterans. Sinresis has helped veterans in the community for several years now, using therapeutic horseback riding as a way of recovery after getting injured on missions. These men and women have shared their stories on how the program has helped them physically and emotionally get adjusted back to civilian life. Sinresis will serve as the pilot for non-medicated veteran therapy. We could not be more proud to be part of that, and we are eternally grateful for the community because the community is what got us here, and so this belongs to all of us. Sinresis Trails offers therapeutic horseback riding to children and adults with physical, mental, and emotional challenges. Now let's see what's happening in weather with Kara Thompson. Kara, another very chilly start this morning, but will we start to warm back up a little bit today? We will slowly be warming up at least into the upper 50s by the afternoon hours. Right now we're looking at about a high of 59 degrees here in San Angelo. Of course, we're going to have sunny skies throughout the day with some calm winds for tonight. We can experience freezing temperatures once again, have a low of 32 degrees on the board, and that's due to in part of those clear skies as well as those calm winds. And for tomorrow, much of the same, looking at probably a high of 58 degrees. There is a slight chance of rain on the map, but right now I think for the most part, the Contra Valley will be staying relatively dry for tomorrow. And for your weather authority, extended forecast for the rest of the week. We will be on a warming trend as we head into Thanksgiving. Going to look like a beautiful Thursday with partly cloudy skies and highs in the mid 60s, warming up to the 70s for the beginning of the weekend before another cold front comes through, dropping us down into the 50s.